and you know, and going into Derrick Henry because we, the first thing they're gonna say, well, why aren't you talking about the RBH cliff? Like that's the thing. Like they're gonna like it. You know, some of the smartest people will talk about it yep. Yep. and yep. say you just look at how these players age at the running back position. If you're the spreadsheet guy, you know how to put it into a spreadsheet. Why are, you know, the, the hit rate just isn't there for these 29 year old running backs. And the thing is, is because the, 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 your source material where you're getting these from, there were just not that many good running backs at that age playing back then. They had either gotten hurt like Todd Gurley's and, and they're busting out or just had a couple of, you know, think about how hard it is for running back to stay productive and good for that long. Like Derek Henry has, he, well, actually he wasn't early on his career, but yep. um, it's just, it's sort of some survivorship bias, you know, there it's just some bias and some sample size bias. And that's, a, that's affecting these age curves. And yes, I know carries do have a correlate with how running backs age. I've seen that. I've seen the studies, what have you, but guess that still when what Derek Henry's RB 18 on keep trade cut or something like that. Um, I'll take that any day. It takes a, a third, a third round pick to pivot off of Zach Charbonnet for Derek Henry, like yeah. per, keep trade cut tr trade calculator. And I'm like, look, I'm not going to start throwing ca calculators at someone, but to someone who can, he had last year, he had the second highest weight opportunities of his career because he actually got some of the most targets he'd ever gotten in his career. Yeah. I mean, he had some regression, his, t his TD efficiency and some other parts, sure. but carry was still there. There's a lot of things telling us that Derek Henry still has it. You know, the offense has changed. The line has changed a little bit, but Derek Henry at that price that you have to pay where it's a second round, like a high second round pick or hit, you know, if I really, if you were going to like, tell me like I had to, I can't trade, I can't do anything. I would have taken, I'd rather have Derrick Henry than the 108 in, in, a, yeah. in a rookie. Draft. I, I'm with you. I, tr I traded the 112 and changed two separate occasions in the startup for Derrick Henry. So it's the 112, like, you know, not, you know, not to brag here, but yes, I won the championship. I have the 112, but I'm like, listen, my team is still built to win and I have the 112 and I'm staring down the barrel of Zach Charbonnet or Devin Chain or Michael Mayer, or I can use that pick and grab Derrick Henry. Like, yes. So I was moving the 112 consistently for Derrick Henry. Um, so like, and, and like, I think like when we talk about like keep trade cut, like it's, he's value lower than that. But like, I have found in the market industry and not industry that you can get a Derrick Henry for one twelve. So, um, it, even so it is, um, it's pretty cheap. So I, I'm with you on that. And you're leaning into the, the whole dynasty advice where you want a running back who can, won't be game scripted out of, of a game. Like, I understand that. Like he doesn't catch a lot of passes, even though his, his targets are going up a little bit. And and all that stuff, but at this price, I'm willing to go, let go of some of that PPR floor yes. and just get that the touch on upside and the care and the volume upside that comes with Derrick Henry, especially when I have to pay RB two prices to do it. Absolutely. Any other final Derrick Henry thoughts before I move into one of my buys? I mean, and, and get like you know what also gets me too is that people always say with like you, smart people tell you it's. With running backs, it's you're only supposed to literally play one to two year windows with these running backs. So if that is what the consensus is, we're supposed to be playing one to two year run, one to two year windows for running backs. Then why is Derrick Henry valued the way he is? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. The market is 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 going against solid theory and and rationale, and and it doesn't make sense. They do not compute. They do not relate. If it's only in a one to two year window, unless you, you know, he could. He could have an injury and his career could be over. Yeah, that could happen to any running back. Look at what it looked like. Guess Brees Hall blowed his knee and that yeah. that tanked that season for Brees Hall managers. Uh, yeah, he can, they can have him next year, but um, at this price and the risk of losing him, and he doesn't main, matter at all for my roster next year, it's okay because Derrick Henry, what he can do and he how he can score 20 plus, like go on a streak of. 20 plus points yes it, yes yes that what that does for a roster i know there's sexy rosters and screenshots but what it does for your actual points scored when you're actually in the win-loss column that what he can do helps win championships and that's Absolutely. what i think that's what your listeners that's what they want and that's yeah. what derrick Henry will give them and especially when is he giving you those points down the stretch right and he plays in a soft division yep it's just nice man and there's really no and like they're going to keep running the ball and there's not much competition, so we're here. And, and circling back, you man, to to our earlier conversation, people are well. They, the Titans are they don't love Derrick Henry. They're worried about his his health too because they you know he was going to be a Philadelphia Eagle. Look at where that source came from. That he was like, click on the link and see who the hell said yes. that he was going to be a Philadelphia Eagle and that they were shopping him around. And look at the people who said that they were stupid who thought that they were going to be training Derrick Henry. 
And those are, and I think that is influencing people's opinions too. And that's what I'm talking about. And you have to go back and check these sources and don't, that's when you capitalize on the mistakes. And people are like, well, Titans are, their offensive line has gotten worse. They're, they're, they invested a new QB, a rookie QB is going to hurt him and, and all these different things. And I'm like, dude, go back to the source. And that's where your narrative is getting totally off from the beginning. So I hear you.